Day 44, 12th of July. We had a leisurely start. We did some housekeeping because that never goes away. Then we set the GPS for Kamloops, but we kept getting sidetracked. The first stop was a 15 minute bushwalk into Bridal Vale Falls. And yes, very pretty. And the bush was stunning too. The next sidetrack was to Harrison Hot Springs. We stopped at the info centre for free Wi-Fi so we could post some videos and then we were off for a luxurious soak in the hot pools. Just what the doctor ordered. Then we walked to the lake and realised we had discovered a gem in British Columbia. What an absolutely beautiful place. We're at Harrison Hot Springs, quite a kid's playground out there on the water. Walking back to the RV, Larry found wild blackberries and they were so sweet. He even fed several of the locals with them too and they were quite happy to munch and chat. Then we were on the road again and we stopped on a pull-off not far up the road past the city Hope. I was absolutely shot after the walk and the swim but in a really good way. Hoping to find a campsite near here. Beautiful spot. Day 45, 13th of July. We woke beside a beautiful river and set the GPS once again for Kamloops. We will get there eventually. We detoured to Lac La Juan, that's Lake June for us English. We were traveling through very beautiful country. Then finally, we reached Kamloops, a city set in a huge valley surrounded by barren mountains. It would look stunning in the winter. There is a huge river running through the valley and I had to wonder if it flooded during the thaw. We stopped to pick up supplies and headed out of town looking for an RV park. We followed the yellow brick road, following the river out of town, very pretty countryside, even if all the green parts were irrigated. Several miles up the road, we read a sign, road closed. What? No problem. Ahead we see a river ferry that takes two vehicles at a time and is operated by both cable and motor. The McClure River Ferry. It was so funky. Here we are on a car ferry of a different kind. This one here winches it across the water. These winches pull us in straight. And best of all, it was free. What are the chances of the Opua Ferry not charging? Hmm. It was tight getting on and off, and I was very pleased that Larry was doing the driving. So we drove on to Little Fort and found a pull-off for the night. All of this country has been really beautiful.